Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at how to use some of the built-in math functions to do something a little more interesting. And what we're going to do is we're going to write a program that is a Pythagorean calculator. Now it's going to be a pretty simple one. And we know the Pythagoras theorem is, a lot of people know it, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, but I've set it up as r squared equals x squared plus y squared. And so r is the square root of x squared plus y squared. So how do we do that using some built-in math functions? So if we come in here, the first thing I want to do is let's take some inputs. So I'm going to say x is equal to input, input one leg of the triangle, y is equal to input, input one leg of the triangle, and because we know that these are both going to be um, numerical values, we're going to cast them to floats. Um, and that means I can do some mathematics. Remember that Python 3 takes everything as a string, so unless unless you tell Python 3 to actually convert the type, it's going to have some problems to be trying to do some mathematics with that. Now that being said, we do have a bit of a problem here in that if someone types in a word, this will crash our program, but we won't be able to fix that quite yet. So if I run this, oh, you have to right click, we have to run this manually. There we go. So I put three, four, there are two inputs. Okay. I like to put a space after there. I think it looks nicer. Take a look again. Three, four. Perfect. Oh, well, anyways. So now, the first thing I'm going to do is step one is square x. We're going to do that using a self referencing assignment statement. So x is equal to x times x. Then step two, I'm going to square y, so y is equal to y times y. Step three, let's comment that, step three, we are going to add x and y and store in a temp, temp variable. So temp is equal to x plus y. Base there. And then step four, we are going to take square root of the temp variable. And we do that by saying r is equal to, and we use math. Oh, we have to import the math, the math module. So remember, import math at the top. I come down here. Math dot sqrt, which is square root of temp. And now I print, and I can say a triangle with side lengths, or sorry, a specific, a right triangle with side lengths will have a hypotenuse of r. So if I've done this right, I know there's a Pythagorean triplet, 3, 4, 5, because 3 squared plus 4 squared, square rooted, should give me 5. So let's put 3 and 4, and there we go. And notice that these are being printed out with point zeros because I've set them up as floats. Now some of you might be looking at this, and actually let's put a comma here, it'll look a little nicer. Some of you might be looking at this and saying, Wow, that is a lot of writing for such a little program. I could probably do it in one or two lines. And you're right, you could. So let's take a second, let's let's do a couple things to make sure we kind of understand the math function and how we could combine all this into be a bit more of a compact program. The first thing I'd like to point out is there is a nice math function called power, which does the first parameter to the power of the second one. So if I want to square x, I can do x comma 2, and that's going to be the same thing as x times x. Math.pow y comma 2. And I could actually do all of this in one step. So I'm going to comment all of these out for a second. All right. 
And it's really good that they split up your math into a number of steps if it's helpful, but the better you get, the more you learn how to condense these kind of statements. But don't try and be too fancy with condensing them, because that's often where we run into problems as earlier programmers. So I'm going to say r is equal to math.sqrt, because I have to take the square root of the whole thing. And I'm going to say x times x plus y times y. And so what this does is it squares x. So it says the square root of x plus the square root of y. Sorry, let me say that again. x squared plus y squared. And then I take the square root of that whole thing and put it in r. And sure enough, I get the same answer. I hope this video helped, and if you have any questions, please let me know.